Sicario is moving west, ladies and gents. Information coming out of country has been spotty, but... Well, let's just say there's a demand for people of our pedigree. The Federation's been eyeing a takeover of Cascadia's resources for years, as far as I remember. And it seems the Cascadians weren't going to take it lying down, based on what info's been leaked out. For those of you who don't know, Cascadia's a nation along North America's western seaboard, one of the largest on Earth, and one of the most prosperous due to its abundant natural resources and geothermal energy deposits. I've never been, but I hear it's beautiful. <sighs> a country with limitless energy at its fingertips. I know some of us who were born out here in the periphery can't even imagine it, but I'm sure this hits closer to home for some of you. Moving along. There's a communications blackout both in and out of the country. And as far as the international news goes, nothing is going on except a few riots. Based on the mercenary networks, however, that is a complete lie. A full-blown conflict is proceeding. We've reached out and we're given a rendezvous by a Cascadian group called the Independence Force, the main anti-Federation group recognized by the national government. I presume the Federation has the borders on lockdown to stop people like us from coming in. So stay on our toes. If we get found out by a patrol, we'll send one of our flights off to take care of them. Sicario is moving northwest towards a rendezvous point set by Cascadia's Independence Force. We don't expect any heavy resistance given our route of ingress. However, each of our fighter groups will be pulling shifts to preserve fuel and ammo. Hitman team, you will be responsible for the last leg of the journey, which will take us over into Cascadia proper. Be prepared to intercept border patrols. I know some of you might not be too enthused to be fighting the Federation, so I invite you to leave with what you have of your contract. You'd only slow us down. Alright, before we go on to the mission and to the hangars, uh, as you can see on the reconnaissance data, it shows you like what the percentage of, well, visual percentage on hostile air targets and hostile ground targets for this mission only hostile air targets are in the full and no ground targets so it gives you a good indication of what type of aircraft and weaponry you should choose but i'm guessing once i start unlocking a few things and start getting my flight arcade flying talent better i could probably beat this mission with an a10 If there is an A-10. How could there be a flight simulator without an A-10? <clears throat> Alright, just like before... Uh, for this mission, I believe you get, you don't get the SV-37, which is the Vigan, uh, the, one of the older, I think it's actually retired in Sweden. Uh, you don't get this aircraft until you beat this mission, so, um, I'm looking for a good air-to-air -air fighter. Now I don't get to select, I don't get to use the... The MiG-21 trainer and the F-4 trainer, I actually get to use the MiG-21 and the F-4. Um, as you can see, it says MiG-21, well, MG-21 Interceptor. Uh, this would be a good air-to-air -air fighter, but because I don't like using Soviet equipment, uh, I'm going to go with the F-4. Uh, it has good air-to-air -air missiles. Uh, I don't know what to, what else to say. It, it has excellent air-to-air -air missiles. There's one missile, I believe it's the MLAA, that can lock on to like four um, aircrafts at one point, or four targets at one point. Uh, this is your, I guess, your standard missiles. I really don't need bombs. Uh, I, yeah, I don't need anti-air. Anti-ground, I mean. 
Uh, actually, let's do that again. The MLAA is what I'm going to select. Um, I guess I can get the gun pod. That's weird. Normally, in Ace Combat, you don't get to select double the same munition, but I guess I can double up my MLAA missiles. Uh, let's launch. So we're going to be in the Yukon territory, I believe that's what they call it in Canada. Uh, except, I guess, due to tectonic and plates, uh, it ripped like a huge ass crevice into Alaska. And the targets are behind me, so let's... on my tail. I'm gonna spin around. Actually, you gotta be careful because some of the mountains can slam. Well, you can slam into the mountains, not the mountains slam into you. Alright, so you saw my dashboard basically light up. Uh, that was my me releasing the flares.
It sounded as if an A-10 just flew past by me, but... Or... Drew, drew its gun against me. There's this large airplane similar to what Ace Combat would send out uh, that has like anti-aircraft cannons and sand batteries. So that's the target right now uh, to shoot down. I want to try to get rid of all these anti-aircraft, uh, these enemy pilots. so that I can get as much points as possible. Missile is on the way. Welcome to Cassie. 
Cascadia, Sicario. Follow us. We have a temporary landing strip set up for you mercenaries. <laughs> and like Ace Combat. You get to land. Let's drop it down to 250, 250. Come on, I know I'm going down. I essentially just dropped right out of the sky. Thanks to your efforts, Sicario was able to rendezvous with our contact and refuel for the mission ahead. You'll be heading back out within the hour, so stay on your toes, or else your time in Cascadia will be short-lived. Alright, and that was Mission 2. Thank you for watching. Bye!